Welcome back to the fluke bucktailing video. We'll start off with the second part of the 13 minute unedited stretch and uh, we'll tack on a few highlights at the end. See Michael's hooked up again. And that was a very small one. Another nice thing about the gulp is these baits, you really don't need to take care of them. Actually, we're fishing today from a jar that um, is two years old and the, it hasn't degraded the bait one bit. The fish are just pouncing on it. Yeah, throughout the video, if you can hear some of the audio, we make some comments about, oh, small one or, or so, and yeah, with fish that are 19 to 20 inches. And, you know, the truth is, a couple of years ago, or and perhaps in some other states, boy, a 19 or 20 inch fluke is uh, really a nice fluke. And it's that, uh, the limits in New York have been pushed very high, so we throw back a lot of big fish. But many days, we don't have too much trouble getting the 21 inches, so certainly not this day. So I'm hooking up a little bit faster than my son Michael, and he's actually a very good bucktailer. Um, I think the difference if, could be that um, I'm using a one ounce bucktail. We generally try to use as light a bucktail as possible. He's using an ounce and a half because when we first started, uh, before we got the drift sock out, the drift was rather fast. and he put on a heavier bucktail just to be able to stay down easier so he's using that ounce and a half and he wants to stick with it so we'll do that but it does seem as though the lighter ounce is um, producing better at this point but he's still doing okay for colors for bucktails we use white green and pink and if I had to choose just one color I'd go with white white's an excellent color Here we have a double header going. <laughs> and the net just broke. Okay, so this this part, this five minute, um, this rather the. Uh, 13 minute unedited stretch is about to end here because with the breaking of the net we're going to stop and uh, put the net back together and uh, before we run up and make another drift.
Okay, so just a few other highlights. We actually only fished two hours this day. We had two hours of video. When the two hours, uh, when the video was full, we went in, but we caught a lot of fluke. We had um, easily 40 fluke, and we actually went through only three gulp tails uh, throughout the entire trip. That was a, a better than average yield on those. Okay, it's a nice fish. And the previous video, my daughter Katie was holding the camera, and now she's up in the front fishing, and she's got a good one on too. So we got one keeper already sitting in the net. Hers is a keeper for sure. They give just a wonderful fight on this light tackle. Trying to hold the net together. Uh, just let it go. All right, it was worth trying. Worth like dying. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I almost had. And there's a pair of keepers on a double header. Okay, here's our final highlight of the day. At this point, we've caught well more than our limit, and we've thrown some back. And uh, this is just a nice fish. You can see the drift sock. The rope is uh, good and tight, doing its job, helping to slow the drift down. And here's where we get a, a nice shot at the size of this one. This is a big fish. Easy does it. Okay, he's got another one too. And again, if you have any questions about um, the fishing done here, any questions about techniques or whatever, um, feel free to contact me through fisherslog.com. Any of the email links there will uh, eventually get to me. And this is a real nice one, and uh, he's lucky because he's going to get to go back. And thanks for watching.